we're asking to write an equation for the graph below. Now, the key point in this graph is the vertex. Now, the vertex in this case is one. What I'll do is I'm going to keep track of what we're given here. So we are given the point, which is our vertex, 1, 5. So based on that, we can use our vertex form of our parabola. So we start with y is equal to a x minus h squared plus k. Now, given that we have this equation, we can use that to plug in what we know about the equation right now. So what we know about the equation is that the vertex of any parabola is h and k. So h is 1 and k is 5 in that basic equation that we have here. So let's rewrite that equation. So we got y is equal to, that's our equation, a bracket x minus 1 squared plus 5. So this is the objective function that we are looking for, right? So what's happening here is we know everything that we need to know for this equation, but we are missing the a value in the equation. So I want you to liken it to finding either the b value or the m value when we're trying to find the equation of a line. So we got to do some sort of substitution. Now, in order to do this properly, we're literally going to have to use a point that is not the vertex from the parabola. That point that we see here that we can use is the point 0, 2. So this is the point, and the point is 0, 2. Now, it's just like when we were trying to find, say, the m value or the b value in y equals mx plus b, we would let this other point be the point on the curve, and we'll call it a point x, y. And we'll take those x, y values, and we're going to put it in our graph. So we have something that looks like this. 2 is equal to a times 0 minus 1 squared plus 5. And now we just have to solve for a. And in order to solve for a, we're just going to take our time and expand and solve. So 0 minus 1. So let's rewrite this first line. So using Bedmus, we simplify the bracket and we get negative 1 squared. Punch that negative 1 squared in your calculator and you're going to get, you're going to get 2 equals a times 1 plus 5. So let's make this look like something we understand. We know that a times 1 is just 1a using Bedmus, and then we get plus 5. So Bedmus says after we've done all the brackets and exponents, we do our multiplication, and that's why we get 1a. So now, in order to get a by itself, this is what I do. I take the 5 and I subtract it from both sides, or I move it to the other side, all right? So now, once we subtract 5 from both sides, we end up with this. 2 minus 5 gives us negative 3, which is equal to 1a. Now, from here, 
we need to get rid of 1a. Now, but first what I'll do is I'll just flip both sides to just get 1a is equal to negative 3. Now, to get a by itself, we're only going to practice this once so you understand it. So, if there was a number sitting in front of the a, you would divide both sides by 1. So now, in the end, you end up with a is equal to negative 3. In our objective function. So we have a is negative 3. So what we're going to eventually do is going to take that a value and put it back into the original equation so that we finally know what our equation is. So I'll write this in black. So now we're going to restate our equation. The equation is, and you just write y is equal to, and we just substitute our a value, negative 3 x minus 1 squared plus 5. And now we have our quadratic equation and we're done. So anytime you have a parabola that has a vertex like this one here, you can use our basic equation y is equal to ax squared plus k to get everything that we need for that vertex. Now you gotta remember that anytime we have the vertex it's really the hk of your vertex. So you just have to plug it into your original equation for the parabola in vertex form and solve for A. And remember, to solve for A, we have to use a point, 0, 2, which is what we substituted into here. Okay? And then we went through it, solved accordingly by doing bedmas, simplify the bracket, take the bracket, and then put whatever you get from the bracket in front of the a value, then move everything to one side that isn't an a, and then you solve for a by dividing both sides by the value that's sitting in front of a, and you get your final answer. a is negative 3, and then we take that negative 3 and plug that back into our equation. And we are